What's up guys, Godzilla Balls here, and today I'll be reviewing a figure that you already should have seen if you were picking your belly button instead of watching my videos. And, well, yeah. When I'm reviewing it, it's the Shmo 2000 Millennium Godzilla, special color version, which I bought at G-Fest. Great, great. Well, I will say, i show my thoughts on this figure. Every I did it, and I'll drink to that. Let's get to the review, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, so this is our box for the figure. Yes, I do this in every review. Goes down smooth. Same great Coke taste now with a hint of added cherry. But yeah, it says his name. It's a licensed 2015 Bondi. Lego stuff. The back. Come on again, focus. Yeah, but the back of the box. The top just says his name. Side says his name, and the other side has a picture of him. So let's get to the actual meat of the review. Get out of the way. Here he is in all his glory and not looking up. But yeah, he's. But the painting and sculpting on this figure is amazing. The sculptor, I think it was Yushiro Sakai, correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am, did an amazing job sculpting this guy. And hey, he already sculpted this figure anyway. Because this is a repaint, if you didn't pay attention in the intro, you sick man! you would know that this is the special color version with gray it's based on Godzilla 2000 but if you visit the Shmo website and go to the monster countdown they don't count him as Godzilla 2000 which why well not this version of course but they don't count their actual 2000 as Godzilla 2000 check it out I'm serious and if I'm wrong then I'm wrong don't sue me but Anyway, the tail. The tail is a big boy. Let's see, it's a big boy here. Let me. Yeah, I'm just gonna. No, I'm gonna leave it there. But he's a big boy. It's this adds his length, making up most of his body. It's a big tail. And he himself is not that small of a figure compared to others in the SH One Star line. Compared to everyone else, he's a man size action figure size and he is nice and solid except for that a bit that gets all done that's a dog here I did not get quality control issues so well I actually did get one out of the box if you notice that this shoulder looks different it's because out of the box it was completely out of his shoulder socket like completely out so I had to take my my hair dryer, my blow dryer. I basically had to attack his shoulder for like ten minutes or so, just so I could pop that in when the flat when the plastic was so flexible that anyone, a three-year-old, could have done it. And I had to leave him in the ice box for ten minutes. So yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, but now he looks great. He was fit for being on screen. Oh man, does he look cool? But let's get to a big problem. This wasn't in the original version. It's not in this one. No accessories unless you got the box. But still, none. Not one does look great with effect parts if you can pose them right 
he can form a pretty cool look, but I don't really like using blue flames with this guy, especially these bootleg blue flames. Gee, thanks, bye bye, fun fun. But I would rather have something orange, or red, like with the Doctor Strange. The SH figure, it's Doctor Strange, but, uh, not yet. But, on his own, he can pull off some pretty nifty poses. And yes, I said it. No, we're not doing that. So, he's got a ball-jointed head that allows him to look down and up. He can't really look up, though. Uh, his ball is on a ball joint. His jaw is on a j ball joint, which allows you to pull off the amazing... I'm just going to get this into focus. That amazing look that makes him look extremely menacing, I promise. But his neck is on a ball joint. So are these segments here and then you got you get to the chest and he's got a ball joint here and a ball joint at that chest piece I don't know if you can see that he's got which allows for an ab crunch and an arcing well not really an arcing back at the arm arm moves out rotation ball joint well elbow joint sort of on a ball joint swivel you got a rotation hinge combo for the wrist so it's not a normal ball joint I don't know why they do that in some of these and that one doesn't want to bend in the yeah he's got a beautiful spread his legs can go out pretty far. He can not do the splits. His leg doesn't really bend back, but he can kick it out. Just a bit, though. He's got... His hip joints are nice and strong. He's got a bend at the knee. Not really accentuated, though. If you can see that. He's got a ball joint here. And a ball jointed ankle which allows for a pivot and a bit of a rotation now the tail these first few segments are kind of meh but then whoo, whoo, though I would like the tail joints to be a bit stronger they can't really hold their pose as well they can hold only certain poses like the up in the air this you can do this he can curve, but still, it's a long tail, and it holds a majority of much tamer poses. Like, he can do that, but yeah, his articulation is amazing. Let's get on to the size comparisons. You got SH Monster Arts Godzilla. They're about the same size. You got the masterpiece Nemesis Prime in his truck mode. Sue me, I dare you. You got the Nicker Alien Queen Mother. I'll get to the view, maybe. And then, of course. You've got the SH Monster Arts 1999 Gamera. And these two look great, especially since they're from the same year. Now, I don't want all you people, you know, actually, um, actually, Gooey, Godzilla 2000 is from the year 2000, you idiot! And I'm gonna say no. He's not. The movie was released in Japan in 1999. He's from 1999. He's from 1999. And I'll get to his review next. Maybe soon. Maybe not. 
but they do look great together. I'm just gonna not cut this review because I'm too tired to. But you can get some pretty great poses with the two of them together. I'll give you my thoughts on Gamera and his review. But let's get him out of here for now. He's a big boy. And let's look at Godzilla. So, all in all, this figure's amazing. Do buy it if you can find it for a good price. Now, I bought it at G-Fest for $75, and that was amazing. <laughs> but it didn't actually come back in print. I'm guessing it was a G-Fest special where it was sent where copies were sent to G-Fest with the stores because it's his 20th anniversary talked about earlier as you can as you probably know but since you probably won't be buying him since you probably didn't buy him at G-Fest if you don't already have him you're gonna have to be dealing with um this. Oh wait, I was supposed to edit in there. Uh, I don't want to edit though, so we're just not gonna do that. You're gonna have to deal with some outrageous prices. If you want me just um go on my uh, cellular device. One second. Price, shut up. Hey, okay. I'll get back to that, but um, what the? You'll be looking at stuff. I don't know if it's picking up. You'll be looking at stuff like that. Okay. But you'll be looking at, oh my gosh. But you'll be looking at all of the stuff like that. So, good luck to you who are any of you want to find it. Please, he is a great figure. Do add it to your collection. Unless you hate the design, then if so, get out. But all in all, this figure's awesome. He's a great fun figure, and I'm actually probably gonna do editing and I'll edit that last bit out. Maybe this bit too. But all in all, he's amazing. You know?